Hey guys, Barry Infos here and welcome to a new GTA 5 100% walkthrough episode 3. In this episode I'm gonna do the Meriwether Heist. In the mission Scouring the Port you get the option to choose an approach. Depending on your choice, the heist is gonna completely change. If you choose option B, you have to do two setup missions in which you have to steal a mini sub and also a cargo bob. After you do, you unlock the heist itself. If you choose option A, you have to do one setup mission in which you only have to steal a mini sub. And of course, the heist itself is completely different than option B. And stealing the sub is the same for both options. However, like I said, option B has two setup missions in which you steal two vehicles and option A has one. You can only do the setup missions with Trevor and in the heist, you can set the crew because you're gonna use Franklin, Michael and Trevor only, not even Lester in this episode. I'm gonna do all setup missions and both options for the heist. So this episode might be a bit too long. As you can see I have option B selected, that's why I have two options, two setup missions. The first one is the mini sub. I'll show it how to complete it and get a gold medal. And also we have to steal a cargo bob which is in Forza and Kuro. This is difficult. And this is not. So, are you guys ready? Let's start. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> nice. I fell through. So once you approach it, you can do it. Now for this option, for this um, steel, you can board the ship and you can press a button to lower it. Or you can just shooty shooty the cables, jump in the water and you're done. This is the way to get a gold medal. You have to not board the ship. If you do, you are in trouble because you won't get gold and I want gold. Yeah, so this is what you do. Of course, you can do whatever you want. If you don't care about gold, then don't do it. Just enter it and take it to the destination. You're gonna call somebody, go to the extraction point and you have to drive. That's it, guys. This is the easiest one. Got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, it's all right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. True, but true. This is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution. They behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. Don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. No oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. Since this episode is way too long, and since my frames in the water are just dropping to 30 FPS, I'm just gonna jump over to the finish line. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crowd. Alright. Yep, here we go. This is the finish line. Just park over here and he's gonna lift you with his crane. And the mission is done, guys. As you can see, the first setup mission is super easy. And if you select option A, this is all you do for setups. So, for many people, option A is the way to go. After I complete both options, I'm gonna show you and tell you my favorite of the two. Honestly, both are awesome. I like setup missions. Just have to take this to a place and you're done with this setup mission. Oh, what are you doing? It's done! Let's go! Let's Ooh. go! Okay, alright. Hurry up! Oh, 
Nice cover up, bro. Not. <laughs> you can still see it. All right, I'm here. <sighs> it's around the corner, past the shipyards. Yeah, it sucks. Look at it. <laughs> you can s clearly see what this is. Ah, oh, Floyd, Floyd, you're so nervous. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. Yep, no cut for Deborah. She, I hate Deborah. Drive it under there. No problem. Pull up. I know. I just have to reach it, dude. Park over here. Exit the truck. And. For sure, it'll be okay there. Um. Sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. <laughs> sweet, eat your sweet meats. I love that. So he's gonna go to the score and escape, and that's it, guys. As you can see, the first setup mission is super easy, but it's a little bit time consuming. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish the mission, finish the mission, finish the mission. Bye, Floydy boy. Good riddance. Let's see. I got gold, 7 minutes and 6 seconds, no boring. And that is it. Now, what I have to do is go all the way to the cargo bob, and also I should. I should show you the text messages, I guess. This is the sub one. I seen a sub driver down at the docks and the ship called Daisy Lee. You... Sh you should? <laughs> like snap the rope somehow or maybe there is some switch to drop it. Yep, this shows you both options. Only a place to get the kind of chopper you need is the frozen kudo balls. Watch out for the other helis in the area, might be easier if you take them out first. Yes, this is exactly what I'm gonna do, because if you take it, they're gonna shoot you down, and... I don't wanna get shot down, so I'm gonna shoot them down. Also, boss, you uh, remind me about getting the chopper for the, for the Kundu. I know you haven't uh, forgotten, have you? No way, I was just talking about that dude. Oh, let's go and get it. Well, hello my friends and welcome to Forza and Kuro. This is where the cargo up is located and we have to enter. And if you want to, you can shoot down the helicopters. As soon as we enter this place, we're gonna get a 4 star warranty table, so watch out. And also do not use a bike. I'm gonna use a bike because I'm... Brave, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I am, but I'm stupid is what I am. <laughs> I'm gonna use this and kill anybody who gets in your way. Watch out, because they are deadly, these guys. Now here's the chopper. I suggest disposing of the pilot, and if you do, you're not gonna get in trouble from that dude. Okay, so go to the cargo bob, let's shoot down this dude, shoot as many as you can before you board this place, just make sure nobody's around you, and make sure the helicopter is gone too. So what you do? Is take off. That's a duck. Did you see the? There is a duck on, above me. Duck, save yourself. Yep. So what you do is take it and escape. Nothing to it. You just have to escape the forced wanted level, and you have to just take it to the destination. Yeah, it's a difficult thing, guys. You could get super unlucky, and it could take you a few tries. It took me three tries. I'll be honest. I could say, oh, it took me the first attempt, but no, I wanna be honest, this took me three attempts, this is my third this one. Is a big bird. Michael really better get those lessons. And yes, he's talking about lessons, which I'm gonna talk about after this phone call. How you doing, Trev? Fine! For a guy who just went into an airbase and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So Trevor said about something about lessons. If you use this approach, Michael is gonna uh, pilot this helicopter and he needs lessons to pilot it better. Like Trevor, as you can see, Trevor has 
How much? Almost max. Michael, on the other hand, does not have max and he hasn't gone the lessons yet and I'm not gonna get the lessons and to show that it's possible without getting the lessons which is in Los Santos, there's a flight school and you can increase your flying with the flight school or just fly around it, it's gonna also decree increase which I'm not gonna do Okay, so let's go here, I'm not gonna skip footage because it's right next to me I talked for way too long and after you complete this you unlock the heist itself and you can do the heist oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's my Besra, and there's my heli chopper. Let's park over here. I can't see the dot, but it should be somewhere. Oh, come on. I can't see the dot, it's too yellow. Ah, good. There we go. That should be it. Mission passed. In 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Awesome. You get this text message from Steve, which is for the next mission. I need you at the lot in El Burro Heights for a face to face. Don't be late. Yeah, this is for next episode. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably do the other heist. Wait. So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Prostitutes? For a heist? Sure, I'm gamed. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And yes, this unlocked the heist. Also, like I said, the setup missions for the other option of the heist involves stealing the mini sub, which is the same exact thing as I did for this approach. So, not show it to you again. What I'll do is I'll do it off camera and show you both options of the heist. Alright, amigos, so welcome to option 80 Freighter. One of the two, and in this one we have to explore a ship. The 100% requirements are kill 12 enemies with a headshot, have an accuracy of 80% or more, kill 12 enemies using stealth, get to the ship interior without being detected, and find the container in 60 seconds. Doing all of this at once is difficult, but at least there's no time requirement, which means that I can watch all the cutscenes and do this in my first try. And I don't have to repeat the mission twice. Okay, guys, are you prepared? Let's start, Travi boy, walk upstairs and activate the first cutscene. Remember, this is option A. Wait, fly! Hey! You guys, I'm expecting company, I want right? this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Suck my uh, no, dick. No, I really don't do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. I don't, because I have to edit. Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me. Bro, is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? Who will sit? On his way. Uh, I can't idolize this. You know, it creeps. Yo, <laughs> yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. He's a smarty pants. You shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor. Easy. Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. Now, you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. Uh, you, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's sake, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? <laughs> 
Man, fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you. Good. Good. All right. Now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, Wade, get Michael a wetsuit, all right? Take him to the boat. Oh. Hurry it up. We need some transport, don't we? Now, don't oh, believe, no. Trevor, this is not easy. This is far from easy if you're going for 100%. If you're not, it's easy, but uh, otherwise it's not. Franklin, boy, go. So we have to go with Trevor and with Franklin to a place where Franklin can snipe peeps. I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, aight? Oight? Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot? I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Okay, man, I'm grateful for that, dog. but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Uh, not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool, so what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. Uh-huh. Gotcha. I'm stopping the car in the median here. Head to your shooter's nest and call Mike. Okay, man, sure. Okay, let me get to my nest. It's on the left of the road. Down here, take the stairs, and it's gonna activate a cutscene. And we can see what Michael is doing. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. And time is gonna advance, which <laughs> is kind of funny because Franklin has been standing here for like 10 hours. <laughs> Alright, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Okay, so for this part, what you can do is kill these two people or... These cats are shady, right? From what I read about them, yeah. They ain't no peace workers. Could you stop talking? Thank you. So you can kill those people or work your way from left to right. If you work your way from left to right, and sometimes in between, you can... Skip the, the next part. Now, for the next part, Michael is gonna go across the ship, and if there's guards on the way, it's gonna be trouble for him. They're gonna spot him if he doesn't kill them. And it's best to kill these people first, and then kill the people, the two people on the top. Because if you kill those two people, Michael is gonna enter the ship, and he's gonna try to go through the ship. So first, dispose of every single person except these two, and then go for these two. This is the person who's gonna be second to last. Okay, now you have to do this a few times before you get the feel of the mission. Because it took me like maybe five attempts to actually feel how the people go, in, in which directions they go, because you can't kill a person next to a different person. You have to know their patterns. That guy escaped. Okay, you have to know the patterns, you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it, just make sure not to kill a person next to another person. And kill the people who are closer to you last, or second to last, because the last two people have to be the people on top. Peekaboo, bam, good. Okay, this dude is next. I also use the E button, which activates the thermal vision. It's much more helpful than not. Oh, oh good. <laughs> I didn't go for a headshot there, because uh, he could have alerted. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Okay, is every single person clear? Yep, okay, let's go for these two. Sometimes you can get a headshot. Two headshots, I mean. I think I got it's one. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. It's okay. Get on board, Mikey. The road is clear. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. And like I said, you can use Michael here. Manpower on this ship. 
to shoot the people and plant the bombs. I'm moving up to the next position. But I suggest going for Franklin first. It's much easier this way. Just gotta gauge when the guards are coming to you and uh, just watch what I did in the video and you should be okay. Hey, you got a clear path. Plant the bomb. Hey, if this is Trevor's thing, why ain't he doing any other wet work? Because he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. Yeah, man. Trevor is not doing anything. I gotta go inside for the last one. Hey, come over to my side of the ship. I'll clear the entrance for you. He's just driving the damn sub. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. Which is so I'm easy. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh shit! Are you okay, man? You gotta go. The alarm's going, man. Mm -hmm. You okay? The alarm is always gonna go off, no matter how well you did. Two headshots, good. I should have twelve already. There's four people in the car, there's four people in a different car too. Did I get two? No, I got one. Up, oh, miss. Gotta get 80%, I can really remember that. I shouldn't go for headshots anymore because I probably have headshots. Do I have headshots? Mm, bam! Oh. And nice, okay, gotta wait for a chopper. It should be behind me. Oh, there we go. It showed up on the map. I have to wait. It's gonna be in this general direction. General area where he's, where he's gonna spawn. Just gotta wait. I think I hear him. Yep, there we go. Okay, so wait. Shut up. Wait for him to get in position and then kill him. Good job. God damn, these guys don't stop talking. I wanna talk. Let me talk. God damn it. <laughs> this game is all talky, talky, talky. Oof. Okay, there's one person here. This is a set position. Oh. oh, bam. Good. This is a set position. They always spawn here. And the blue. No, let's go for this guy. Headshots. More headshots. I should stop with the headshots. Chill out. Oh, I got them both. Did I get Yeah, I got them both. <laughs> Yay. Good job, Mikey. I made it. There's more. The mission is not over, guys. We still have to swim and we have to pilot a mini sub. Ooh, text. Shut up, dude! <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys never shut up. I want to talk in these videos more, but I can't. <laughs> and you're here to listen to me talk, right? To give you information, and they keep talking, so I can't give you much information. Ah, whatever. Timber! Woo, that looks so cool. It's, it looks like the explosion in GTA 3, but much better. You know the ship mission in GTA 3? Hmm? Bomb the base, Act 2. That mission was awesome. Well said, bro. This is always in this location. Yeah, it's it. I found it. A set position. And this is all you do as Trevor. You just drive this thing and hook it up. That's all you do, guys. Trevor got okay, off the hook. Incoming. Yeah, so basically you go down, you go up, you hook some things, and that's it. <laughs> this is so easy. Hey, what is this thing? It looks kind of sinister. If we knew what it was, it wouldn't be top secret or very valuable, would it? It ain't doing anything to the water, is it? Well, it could give you powers, turn you into impotent rage. Nice. <laughs> nah, just take a shower after, you'll be fine. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Let myself get torn into this. So, you, uh, am I done down here? Yeah, you're done. The team's meeting at Pier 400 for a debrief. Beers are on me. I'll stay for one. That's what you always say. Yeah, well, I mean it now. Floyd! Come in! I got the package! 
Savage. They get the dock? Sir, yeah, uh, I'm here. I heard gunshots and explosions. Keep it together. I'll be there soon. Damn, he's so frightened. <laughs> He's so scared. Okay, let's skip this part because this video is long enough already. Boy, they're coming in. Get the crane ready. Get the crane ready, Floydy. Floydy boy. <laughs> Floydy boy. Okay, so this is it, guys, for a mission. Awesome mission. I love this approach. I love the other approach, too. And I'm gonna tell you which one I prefer after I complete the second one. And Hold you can up. tell me in the comments, too. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, yeah, let's hope so. Hey, is that Master? What? Hey, I mean, what the fuck you doing here? The only naked boy. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates were busy making themselves enemies of the state. Woo! You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You could fuck with them all day long, but. When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester crap! Naked but holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah? I pulled the score. What are you jealous? Cause you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch! They kill! Idiot! We'll all be dead within a week! Think! You dumbass! Right, listen. Take the truck. Take a guy. Do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! Stop screaming! I'm on it. Stop looking at the boots. So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. Still? I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work too. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Fuck! And Trevor is angry. His first job, and he blew it. He blew it. Let's see. Did he get the gold medal? Woo! We were gonna get. 20 million bucks, but we had to return it and we got nothing. <laughs> all this planning, all this organization for nothing. <laughs> okay, so this was option number one, option A with the writer. Let's do option B. Well, hello my pretties and welcome to option B, the offshore method. We have of course 100% gold requirements and they are Find the container within 2 minutes Complete the whole mission within 14 minutes and 30 seconds Yes, it is a time requirement Which means that I have to replay the mission again If I wanna watch all the cutscenes and listen to all the dialogue the first attempt So again Two times I'm gonna complete the mission, the first time live, the second time is gonna have post commentary and I'll speed up the second time because this video is gonna be way too long. You have to eliminate all pursuing enemies and you have to escape them in 4 minutes. So guys, uh, let's go the second method B, offshore, let's see what we have to do. Wait, Floyd! One of you shits must be here. Hello Trevor. Hello shits. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you too. Oh. Hello, Trevor. Oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I've... I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! Yeah, motherfucker. Good, good. Uh... As you can see, this uh... first cutscene is different. Uh... Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Not the boy! The stars in his eyes. Not like that. Was not like that. Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! Fuck. You wanna go? 
<laughs> no, I'm good, though. Hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out, and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion-eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> you nutcase. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd! All right, now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck, get out of here! All right? Now, Floyd <laughs> here works at the port. Poor Floyd. Puts me onto Meriwether's security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Hmm. Let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks! Trevor thought of everything. Goodbye, goodbye. We have to dress up, unfortunately. Let's take your truck. Sandy Shores Airfield, if you please. We have a huge dialogue here, guys. A huge one, so... I will shut up for quite a while and let you listen to these guys is bickering. Sandy Shores, that's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize he was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shy, repeatedly, but this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? You think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh, going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, shit. My company. Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just saying. You're mocking me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor, it's a business! Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah. I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The lost motorcycle club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks, how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit, Damn, that's a lousy country. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey, the God! Oh, just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm going to get into said submarine vet. Wait, hold on. You had the flying lesson. Right? Ah, whoops. Flying lessons. Right. You know, I was gonna have them. And then... Oh, you total idiot! 
Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. He's gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and flying out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me in the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been tested. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxed. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's easier ways. I mean, this sounds extreme, T, even for you. Can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? I've got a sub, I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Same with my intel guy, Ron Joukowsky. Who is a damn sight better than Lester, I might add. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go along with it. Listen, Frank, if you want out, I understand. No, 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 I'm good. I can do it with a paycheck. That's the spirit! So you're really gonna pay Ron and Wade and uh, Floyd? Really, Trevor? Even if you take something from this mission, you're gonna pay these guys? Really, Trevor, really? Really? <laughs> especially... <laughs> especially Floyd. Really, Trevor? <laughs> I don't trust you, dude. No. It's definitely not gonna happen. And here's my submarine! Hello, Floyd, submarine! Wait. Stand by the hangar! I guess this is our chopper. Yeah, but this is our chopper. This is what you have to do. We got the mini sub for the two, you know, the two um, setup missions from those. And this is a chopper which we also got from there. Okay, let's take off. Here we have to wait for Mr. T to get in there. We're gonna take off. Press E to pull this out. I wish you'd done the flying lessons like I told you, but no, nobody no. tell Michael anything. Nobody tells me anything, dude. We are hooked up. You gotta drop me a couple clicks out to see from Polito Cove. No problem. We have to listen to another huge dialogue. Ugh. So let's do it again. Trevor, you got your company name sprayed all over this chopper. But, uh, everything else about it says military. Yep. I got it from the military base. And there's all this military hardware in the back. Guns and whatnot. Mm-hmm. This thing gets hot, they'll come in handy. Hey, I thought it wasn't getting hot. You said no major heat. In fact, you guaranteed it. It's a score, Michael. Even if you don't anticipate heat, you prepare for it. That's the code. That's why I don't take scores. Not anymore. I'm out of the game, man. What am I doing? Oh, really? You don't take scores? No, not anymore. What say you? Franklin, I say this is a conversation between you two. So, that wasn't you guys then at the Rockford Hills Jewel Store. Hey, that's right around the corner from my house, T. I might have been there buying something for Amanda. I certainly wasn't robbing. Sure. Oh, you know, my mistake, my mistake. It was a, a pretty tight job, though, eh? I mean, the, the planning was there. They went in, right? They got out clean. I mean, there were some problems, but they kept their heads, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it We're is gonna go point. so well. I can see some platforms on the water. There might be a testing station. Yep, and this is where you have to go. We have to fly for quite a while, and the biggest problem with this uh, method is the dialogue. There's so much of it, and I wanna listen to it because it gives you more insight on everything. Because for instance, now, let, let me talk about it a little bit later after I drop this dude. Drop him close to these platforms. And we have to activate Sp uh, Spotify? No, Trackify. 
<laughs> I said Spotify. And go to the dot. The app is live. I'm reading the signal. Signal is being read. So yeah, we learned about uh, the heist so far. Michael thought that Trevor did not know about that and he did not know how Trevor found Michael. But we all know that, we all know how. It's because of his cheesy ass line to the guard, was it? The parking dude? Right, down here. You know what's funny, guys? My current FPS frames per second is 135. If I turn on this, it's 65. It's so weird, just <laughs> I lose like half my frames if I turn on the light. <laughs> so that's why I suggest you do the same, just turn off the light. I don't know why it works like that, but that's what you should do. So yeah, this is... Uh, you see anything interesting? Uh, just rock so far. Uh, just rock so far. As you can see, this is a pretty boring method and I don't suggest you do that, I suggest you do the other thing because it's so much more fun. You just drive around here, or float around, whatever you do. Here it is! It's been secured to the seabed. I'll see if I can pry it loose. This is what you're looking for. You have to take it. And after you do, you have to take it outside. Got it. Plop. I'm surfacing. Let's go. All the way up, and this is gonna take a while, so... Oh, 50 FPS. Hey man, so, uh, got <laughs> 100. <laughs> we'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, what it look like? What you think it is? Uh, best guess, it was hooked into the rock, maybe on a fault line, so... Could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis, or, no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, well for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid. Oh, let's go get paid, dude. So you turn it upwards and you do this. Which is again pretty slow, but you can just hold the shift button if you want to, or hold the space button. Let's go! I know, dude. Switch to my killy boy. And this is the hardest part of this whole mission. You have to hook up Trevi boy. Lift me up, let's go! But watch out not to touch the water. I'm here. Oh, be careful, oh, be careful. That's why Trevor told you to get the lessons. Now come on, let's go back to the airfield. And let's go back. All the way back to the airfield. On the way we're gonna get some heat, obviously. I suggest going on shore, and after the helicopters appear, then you should switch to Franklin if you're not going for 100%, of course. If you're going for 100%, you should destroy the boats too, because you have to. But this way, you don't have to switch to Franklin, and after the helicopter spawn, you should switch. This is much, much better. Good, don't go above the sea, because they're gonna spawn again. Up, oh, Meriwether, okay, there we go. Let's switch to Frankly Boy. Hey, helicopter. You can switch positions. Did you crash, Michael? I'm off you for one second and you crash. Where? Oh no, whatever shall we do? Excuse me boys, come over, I wanna talk to you and shoot at you, ho ho ho. And plop. Want some plop too? 
I plopped you. Oh, cool. You can go over here. Somebody shooting at me with missiles. I'm not like that. The sight. Here we go, let's kill this bro. Yeah, this is all you do, guys. This is the easy part of the mission, hey, believe it or not. You have to switch to my crew. If you don't, you're gonna switch automatically, so. Yeah, just switch yourself. It's a bit faster. And we have to play all the way back. What was that, T? I told you! That was Merriweather! Those choppers? Man, that ain't normal private security guards! Yeah, you're right! I have it on good authority that they're actually a lizard army who've taken human form to do the bidding of the New World Order. I hope you can flip this thing fast, because I don't want to see those reptile buddies of yours ever again. What exploded? That was weird, <laughs> whatever. Let's go here. Let's drop T off. Be careful not to damage it. Plop. And there we go, Mish. Oh. Oh! Okay, that was stupid. What the hell? <laughs> Don't worry, this is not gonna happen in the 100% attempt, but that was stupid. I just barely tapped it. Like I told you guys, be careful dropping this thing off and don't touch it after you drop it. Oh. Do you know what you've done? The wire is going fucking crazy. Oh, and good to see you too. What's it been? Not huh, ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese. Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did. Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say! Okay! Alright, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello! Me too! And all of that was for nothing. Also, Trevor again lost his mind. I kind of would lose my mind too if I spent so much time planning and stuff, stealing things, and it's all for nothing. Yeah. So, this is it, guys. Apologies for the fail, but this game just likes to do that. I just barely tapped it. I guess you shouldn't tap it at all. Hmm. Nice up. You can, of course, after this mission, go here and buy this dock. It's available after the Meriwether Heist, which leaves us with only one mission, which unlocks another property, and that is the British Couple mission, which I'll do pretty soon. But after this mission, you also get a phone call, and here it is. Ah, Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Fuck whoa, you. whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt a farm, killed my brothers! You had too many! Brothers, they needed calling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. And that's the phone call you get after this mission. We have one last thing to do, and that is to get a gold medal for option B. Oh well, hello there, my pretties. Bad infos here. This time I parked a helicopter. This is much better, much faster, but you're gonna skip some dialogue if you go quick enough. That's why I didn't show you the helicopter uh, way at the beginning of this video. Or basically the previous attempt. This is why I took a helicopter here. Much faster, you go through everything, you don't have to take the roles, just go. This uh, is Trevor's helicopter. So something else I need to mention here. 
In my first attempt you saw me pointing the mouse upwards with my mini sub. When I was in the mini sub I pointed the mouse upwards. You should also do that. In this attempt however I did not do such a thing. I was just pressing shift to go up. You should also press the mouse. You see how much longer this took me, but even if you don't do that, it you can still go you can still get a gold medal, of course. So uh, this is uh, useful for this mission, the mouse moving, moving, and also, I guess, for the uh, Devon Weston mission, the future mission in which I have to shoot cops from a car. That's why the mouse pointing should be uh, activated in the settings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, doesn't matter. Basically, point your mouse upwards if you want to go upwards. Also, here I'm I'm not using the headlights because for me, maybe not for you, but for me, I lose half my frames <laughs> and head sucks. And here we go, this is it. We picked it up, as you can see, I'm just pressing shift and I'm going up much, much, much slower. So, in closing, I want to say something. Which one do I prefer? Do you think I prefer this one? Of course I don't, guys. This one sucks. I mean, there's some interesting parts, of course. Some interesting stuff happens here, but in general, this is there's so much dead air in this one. You just fly a helicopter or drive to the place. You take a different helicopter. You stay in the water for an eternity. And then something interesting happens. This is also dangerous, uh, attaching this thing here. In general, this part sucks, so option A is the way to go, guys. Just choose option A and you'll be all fine. You're gonna have... Well, of course, this is much easier. If you want easiness, then just go for this, but I don't prefer this one, guys. And also, in the other attempt, we can see Leicester's butt. So that's more points, right? It makes it much better. But yeah, for this attempt, stay close to the sea. Don't go quickly to the, the forest, because... You want to get a gold medal. You have to be fast, which involves getting a helicopter at the beginning. Of course, you can do it without that, but it gives you more time to do other stuff. And I think this is everything I wanted to say. This is a huge video, like 53 minutes or something. Yeah, pretty, pretty long. But I got a gold medal, which is what I wanted. So guys, let me know which one you prefer, option A or option B. For me, the first method was much, much, much better. In the next episode, expect hotel assassination. And after that is the Blitz play heist. So stick around, thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters. Vladas, Soup Smile, How's the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and these two wonderful people listed here. Thank you for the support.